हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू अन अकेडमी सो दिस इज आर कोर्स ऑन सम कॉमनली मिस अंडरस्टूड एंड मिस यूज इडियम्स एंड फ्रेजेस इन द लास्ट लेसन वी हैड अ ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन एज टू वॉट आर इडियम्स एंड फ्रेजेस एंड वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टू नाउ लेट्स हैव अ लुक ऑन सम वेरी कॉमनली मिस यूज इडियम्स एंड फ्रेजेस सी सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट वन फर्स्ट कम फर्स्ट सर्व सो वी ऑल टेंड टू यूज इट read it write it a lot of times but in this form first come first serve suggests that the first person to arrive has to serve all who follow the actual phrase the actual phrase is first come first served to indicate that the participants will be served in the order in which they arrive and as a matter of fact do you know that both harvard university and yale got this thing wrong at one point of time so i hope we at least never make this mistake so deep seated lot of time we use it but actually the word or the phrase should be deep seated s e a t e d to indicate that something is firmly established though deep seated might seem to make sense indicating that something is planted deep in ground this is not i'm really sorry to say not the correct way to say it moving to the next wet your appetite how many times please tell me and please ask yourself or your friends they use it this expression is more often used incorrectly than correctly 56% of the time it appears online it's wrong the correct idiom is wet your appetite that is w h e t wet means to sharpen or stimulate so to wet your appetite means to awaken your desire for something and it's not wet your appetite because you cannot actually wet your appetite so moving on to the next now so peaked my interest so we think p e a k meaning something uh, of height or a peak of a mountain we tend to think that this makes sense in a way that something took your interest to a higher level but this is wrong the correct thing is peak that's p i q u e it means to arouse so the correct phrase here is peaked my interest meaning that my interest was awakened to say that something peaked my interest might suggest as i said that your interest was taken to highest possible level but this is not what this idiom is meant to convey This one is one of my favorite and lot of people trust me more than 80% of people get confused in this one. So towards and anyways there is no word called as towards and there is absolutely no word called anyways. These both s in these both two words are wrong. So it's toward and it's anyway. So when you say anyway I'm going lot of people will say anyways I'm going which is absolutely wrong. Please refrain from using this because this is a very minute but very easily uh, noticeable error whenever you go for interviews or formal meetings please avoid such mistakes and create a very very good uh, impression trust me i really have no idea at all from where this word came into existence irregardless like okay regard is a word regardless is a word irregardless has absolutely no meaning it's zilch so irregardless is no word so instead you should use regardless which means no matter what or in spite of everything so we sometimes in flow or hearing from other people we tend to follow these things which lead into some bad or embarrassing moments so please whenever uh, you say something and even if you're not aware just ask yourself because a little bit of common sense because we all know that what is that irregular and the, you know the prefix of ir what does that mean and what does the pre, uh, suffix of less less what does that mean they both mean the same so they cannot be added to the same word so never use irregardless use simply regardless so this was for today's lesson in the coming lessons we'll um come across and we'll approach new words and new phrases and new idioms just like this to enhance our vocabulary and our knowledge about the language 
सो थैंक यू सो मच टेक केयर एंड स्टेट यू सी यू सून अगेन